Hello, in this tutorial we're going to look at the stage area and customising your backgrounds on the stage. Um, there are lots of different ways to do this. What well, first thing you need to make sure of is that you've got the stage selected and that then you go to backgrounds like so. You can then create new backgrounds in lots of different ways. Um, the first is to edit background one. So click edit and you can use the fill tool to say let's pick yellow you can create a yellow background you could then let's say for example you were making a maze game you could then use the rectangle tool to draw walls for your maze and so on um, the text tool here lets you type some text that you might want to use for um, an introduction or a game over screen there's a circle tool as well there's an eraser the one problem with an eraser is it erases everything not just the rectangle do you see so sometimes just click undo there if I've made a rectangle too big like that a tip is get the rectangle tool choose the color of your background and just draw over like so um, that's one way of setting your background another way would be to import a picture that you already have now in backgrounds here there are some default ones that come with scratch or again if you find your documents over here you might want to import a background that you've already saved one piece of advice I would give you is that if you want a complicated background with lots of text in various different places then I would pre-prepare that in a different piece of software like Photoshop like fireworks and then I just import it straight in and use it like that the last thing you can do with backgrounds is you can have more than one so let's just call this one background one like so and I'll make that blue and then if you want a new background you just paint another one we'll call this background 2 and I'll make that one orange oh I can change the color of the text as well so I'll make this one red there we go um, and that's really useful for different levels in your game or for an introduction screen or for um, a game over screen other things like that whenever you want the background of your game to change in different situations so that's a really basic introduction to backgrounds in scratch